Hello, everybody. Welcome to today's uh, Facebook Live. Today, I invited a very like funny guy. <laughs> it's Alden Clamor, and he is an author of the book "The Dummy's Guide to the Love of Attraction." I hello, Alden. Hi there, Slavomira. Good afternoon. What? Good afternoon. It's uh, about um, five sixteen here in the afternoon, Wednesday, December December eighteen, two thousand nineteen. How about there? What time is it there in your in your place? Ah, in my place, ten uh, in the morning. So we are like okay. yes, it's quite big time delay so but let's talk about this love of attraction so my name is Slavo Mira I'm a transformational guide and Alden is okay please Alden let's introduce yourself okay so I'm um I'm a well 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 being coach and uh, I'm also a loose weight coach and uh, and in this uh, book that I just wrote, it's about um, all my insights regarding the law of attraction. And uh, many people have heard about the law of attraction, but they just have a vague idea of the law of attraction. So uh, I've been listening to uh, the lectures of Abraham Hicks since um, around um, October 2015. I, that's the, the time I, I was going to their website and I bought this uh, meditation guide of entering into the vortex. Since that day, I started to listen to that. And since that day, I started to meditate regularly every day. And my life just blossomed, you know. It just metamorphosed, you know. It was like a... Uh, 100, <clears throat> 180 degree turn for the better. And so I started to take note of the different uh, insights that I had from the law of attraction. And uh, in fact, uh, there are two laws in the universe, the law of gravity and the law of attraction. The law of gravity, everybody knows about the law of gravity, right? So uh, um, you know how it works, you know, when you go out of your house, you're not afraid that you will fly upwards, you know, that you know that you will uh, stay on the floor and um, and you know how to apply it, you know, I mean, how, you know how it works. So everybody knows about the law of gravity. Uh, you don't need a coaching, uh, you don't need a coaching class to learn how the law of gravity applies to you, you know? And in fact, you don't apply the law of gravity, the law of gravity applies itself to you, right? And you know that if you go to the 21st floor and then you jump at the window of the 21st floor, you know that you will fall down, you will not fly up upwards, right? Um, so the law of gravity is evident. Now. The second law of the universe is called the law of attraction. Now, it's it's like the law of gravity is very simple. You don't need any additional coaching for that. However, the law of attraction, most people use it. You, you know, you don't apply the law of attraction. The law of attraction applies itself to you, but they don't know how to apply it correctly. And then you know how to you, you, you use the law of attraction every day. If you look at your life, you look at your surroundings, you attracted everything to you through the law of attraction. You know, you attracted everything to you. Now, uh, maybe some of the things you attracted you like, some of the things you attracted you don't like, and then sometimes you would like to attract more. And that's where the book comes in because I was listening to the lectures of Abraham X and taking notes, and then I was slowly able to discipline my mind to focus only on the things that I want to happen. You know, um, most people are what you call sloppy thinkers. You know, we think sloppy thoughts, you know, they, they, they focus on what's in front of them. If they see happy things, they focus on the happy things, their life becomes happier. If they see sad things, they focus on the sad things and then they attract more sadness into their life. And then they're like just a, a bobbing cork in a raging ocean you know it's uh, there's no direction while 
in listening to the lectures, you know, uh, in YouTube, you could go to Abraham Hicks, you could listen there. There's a certain kind of thinking in a way that you will attract to yourself only the things that you want and you will avoid unnecessary heartaches. And then I was taking notes, you know, taking notes every day, taking notes, listen to the lectures, taking notes, meditating. Then I realized my notes are so enormous, you know, uh, I was using mind map. And then I had from A to Z, you know, I was categorizing the different topics from A to Z, attraction, gravity, love, happiness, emotions. Then I realized those mind maps are enormous and I better create something coherent so that I could myself remember what I learned. So this, the book started there. I, in fact, I created that, I wrote that book, in fact, for me to remember everything that I listened to. <laughs> remember that, I don't know about you, but I, of, I often catch myself, I sabotage myself very often, you know? Sure, like, yes, a lot of you know, people do it. Yes. Well, a lot of people do it. And then I realize it's not just me. It's everybody doing it. They're sabotaging themselves in one way or the other, you know. I think we like drama, you know. We are drama queens and kings. We like drama in our life. So um, so for me, for, for to prevent myself from sabotaging myself, I was writing that uh, book, making a coherent chapter by chapter, uh, like uh, exposition of dollar of attraction. Then I realized that that book... But I'm writing can only not only can help me, it can help other people, you know. So I, I created chapters. I created like uh, connecting one chapter to the other, and I, I, I like I created a coherent flow, and uh, I published it, you know, in Smashwords. And now uh, it's funny because that book is among the most expensive in Smashwords. You know, it's nine dollars and ninety nine. That's the most expensive uh, book in Smashwords, you know. And yet, after just a few days, already 29 people have bought the book, you know. People are buying the book even though it's very expensive. And I'm so glad because it means I'm helping 29 people already. So. Okay, so, uh, so can you explain in your words what is this love of attraction? Some easy and simple definition okay law of attraction as i told you it's one of the two laws of the universe that are pervasive in the universe first is the law of gravity everybody understands that and the law of attraction almost nobody understands that you know that's why on the law of attraction we need more orientation we need more coaching it um, well it's like this uh, the universe listens to what you mean all the time you know, if you say, I'm happy, I'm the, the universe does not listen to your words. You say, you can say, I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy. But inside, if you feel sad, then the universe will will respond to that sadness in, in you and give you more experiences that will make you sadder, you know. So you have to mean what you say, you know. And if you say, I feel well, you need to feel well, really. And then if you focus on that, for as long as 16 seconds, you know, if you steady your thoughts that I feel well, I feel well, for as long as 16 seconds, that positive thought will attract another positive thought. And if another 16 seconds pass by that you're thinking of that positive thought, those positive thoughts will attract other positive thoughts. And after 68 seconds, imagine that, 68 seconds, it's just more over a minute, you still focus steadily on that positive thought, you will feel something positive something something you know something uh happy you know and then if day in just imagine slavomira if day in day out you focus on happy thoughts it will bring to your life happy experiences now wh what i observe in people is that they observe a happy thought but after a minute they observe another sad thought and then they go like that you know they 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 go they go to, towards happiness and then they go towards sadness happiness sadness so they, they 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 turn in circles you know and then they attract in their life some things that they like and blocks of things that they don't like and they say what's happening you know and <clears throat> this is the thing uh, people think that they can change their life through action I don't have anything against action but your action should be coming from an inspired place inside you you know. 
not just action to hit a goal or to, to, to get something, but it has to be action coming from an inspired place in you where you are in alignment with your source. Okay, we uh, that's another word, source. You can call it God. You can call it soul. But if you are aligned with your source, your soul gives you all the hints that you need to reach your goal. Because your soul knows all your sabotage techniques, you know, and your soul can lead you through in and around all your resistance, all your sabotage points. And she, the, your soul, your source knows how to give you what you want. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Let me let me tell, explain to you the three steps of creation. Okay, first okay. you ask. Okay, you ask. It doesn't have to be a verbal asking. You can ask just by looking at what you don't want. There's a rocket of desire that that comes that 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 that, uh, that flies from you to know what you want. Let me let me give you an example. You you are walking and then you see people living under the bridge. You know uh, their house is very small and there there are no windows and then you see them dirty and then you see oh i don't like that from the from the very split second that you say i don't like that there's a rocket of desire that comes from you where you express you 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 have an idea of what you do like and then that desire is taken by your soul remembered by your soul and then your soul lives it immediately you know if you want to be rich then your soul knows that desire and then your soul lives that wealth already right now you know and then your soul knows how to lead you towards that ha that happiness but the, the moment you say i want to be rich and then you look at your situation right now you believe in that situation remember that um, experiment i told you uh, the first time we met about that object permanence thing you know can you the repeat baby? it it was so funny yes okay so um, uh, John Piaget, he's a Swiss psychologist. He he uh, he created. I mean, he was the one who who coined this uh, concept of object permanence. Let's say a baby, you know, a uh, one-year-old toddler. You know, when the toddler sees a beautiful an object, so the baby will go to to get that object. But once you put another object in front of that that object, the baby will lose interest. He, he will think that object has disappeared. You know. So the baby is approaching that object, you know, ha ha ha, go go ha. And then you put a book there, and then the baby will just suddenly the baby will lose interest as if the object is not there anymore. And and that's the level of development of the baby, you know. The baby is normal, the baby is intelligent, but at that certain point in his psycho 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 emotional development. The baby thinks that if you put a pic, a, 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 an object there, the other object disappears. That's the level of cognitive maturity that he has, you know. Of course, when the toddler becomes three years old, four years old, when you put a book, ah, the, the baby will say, ah, that's not true. I will go to my object. You know, the baby will know that that object that you put in front is just nothing, you know, because the real, it, the, 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 the goal, the, her, her, his goal is still there. Now, if you apply it to the adult version, uh, you know, adults have a vision of themselves. Ah, I am fit, you know. Ah, I have a beautiful, ideal body. That's their vision. In fact, that vision is like this green, this green towel here. You know, that's my vision. But when they when they look at the mirror, they see, oh, I'm overweight. Oh, I'm too fat. I'm too tall. I'm too thin. I'm too young. I'm too old. They see what's what is actually. And they forget their vision, you know. They suddenly they forget their vision, and they they don't reach for the vision anymore. But this is my insight. This is my insight, you know. When you have a vision, your vision in your mind, even though it's just in your mind, it's real. It's very real because everything begins by vibration, you know. Um, you know vibration is real and the vision that you have in yourself even though you could not sense it with your five senses is already real as long as you have the vision it's real already that's what i want to share to you you know that's why applied to adults that vision is for real and even though you could see ah, i'm too fat i'm too thin i'm too i'm too old i'm too tall i'm too short don't don't listen to that forget about that stick to your vision and focus on your vision because if you stick on that 
16 seconds, I told you, right? 16 seconds, another 16 seconds, another 16 seconds, 68 seconds, you feel an emotion, day in, day out. Not just the emotion will come, but experiences will come to validate that emotion. You will reach what you want if you just focus steadily. And in my book, I, I wrote the stuff that you need to, to know so that you will create the life of your dreams. And, and in me personally, I have created the fitness, the, the, the well-being that I really dream of, you know, and uh, I am creating that peace of mind, that clarity of mind, that joy and that, that well-being that I'm dreaming. And I realize that for other people, it's not too obvious, you know, for me, it's very obvious because I'm living it every day. But for other people, how do you do that, Alden? How do you, how do you get to your ideal weight? How do you have clarity of mind? How do you have peace of mind? How do you experience joy at every moment? And so maybe that's my initial contribution in that book. Yes. So, Make sense? I, I'm making sense. <laughs> yes, yes. It's now when you are talking about it, it's it's clear. But it's clear. Now. <laughs> yes. When, when I stop this, when you when you stand <laughs> off the video, you 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 look at the mirror again. You see yourself, and then you forget everything that I told you. <laughs> that's why a book written in black and white is important because you can re read again the book and then remind yourself of the principles that you need to follow to be able to craft the life that you want okay can you talk about another mode how people sabotaging themselves <clears throat> well people sabotage themselves by talking about what they don't want you know uh if you talk about what you don't want and then you create blogs about what you don't want and then you create uh you tweet about it you blog about it then what you don't want becomes bigger and bigger and bigger don't don't talk about what you don't want talk about what you do want you know play the you know there's a technique called the what if game play the what if game what if i have a thriving business which allows me to walk in the beach the whole day which allows me to travel anywhere uh wherever i want because i have the money from money is like flowing like the diana niagara falls no infinite abundant money flowing. what if i have that kind of money then you will daydream you know daydream it doesn't matter if it's not real because daydreaming starts the vibration already you know you're you're creating this already you know Okay, and then if you day in, day out, you discipline yourself to daydream and to feel good, then the universe, you know, God will give to you more of what you are focusing on. And um, it's exciting because your soul, your source knows how to bring you there already. Everything that you dream of, Slavomira, your source is already living. You you want to live on top of a hill in a beautiful mansion. Your soul is doing that already right now. He's on top of a mansion, living in a beautiful mansion, uh, living on, on, on top of the hill, and he's enjoying the view from that mansion. You know that's why your soul adores you because everything that you wish for, your soul lives instantaneously already, and knows how to lead you towards that goal that you want. But most of us we resist, you know, because we look at the mirror. Ah. Oh. I'm still like that. Oh, I'm still my my money in my bank is very bad. I almost don't have any money in my bank account. Oh, that's bad. And you know, this is your sabotage, in fact. This is your sabotage. This is your escape. If you just need to have a little bit of cognitive maturity in the in the child, you, you the child needs to grow a little bit more to have more cognitive. Uh, emotional maturity adults need to have like this maturity also to home in on the vision and don't mind reality because you are not there to accept reality you are there to create your reality remember that you are made to do that you know you were made here for that and maybe in that book people will start to realize maybe for the first time in their life i am here to create the most beautiful life that I can create. And I have the tools to do that, you know? The law of attraction will help me do that. But if I don't know how to use the law of attraction, the law of attraction will, like, it's like a hammer, you know? You could use the hammer to build your most beautiful house, but if you don't know to use the hammer, people do this with, their, with the law of attraction. Boom. Boom. 
And then, oh, I have a headache. Yeah, because they use the hammer in the wrong way, you know? They use the hammer to hammer their head, you know? Don't do that, you know? Use the hammer to build the most beautiful house you want. And maybe that's my contribution in that book, teaching you how to use the hammer intelligently. <laughs> Yes, that's, you, that's you have to nice. use the hammer anyway. The hammer is there, but you don't know how to use it. So you either use the hammer to build the house that you want or to sculpt the most beautiful statue that you want, or you use the hammer, you know, uh, in front of you, you know, to uh, prevent you from seeing your vision, you know. So you ha the hammer is in your hand all the time. Okay. Is, does, okay. does that make sense? Are you getting it? Yes. Are you getting it? Stop. Yes, it's very nice getting it also like it. It, it, it is you know it's fun to discuss it because by teaching it to you i go deeper into the understanding of it and i remember it more you know i remember it more and uh, and, and i can appreciate it i can apply it more and then if you watch this video over and over again the concept of that object of permanence by john piaget will become something that will be applicable in your life as well you know your vision and the reality, you know, you know, you're not here just to accept reality. You are here to create your reality and a reality that remember a reality that never has been created before, you know, because Slavomir, I want to tell you this. What if your contribution will lead the world to more distinction? What if, if you are able to awaken your greatness, you're able to pursue the greatness that you were created, you will lead the world to a greater distinction. And what if, if you allow your limitations to stop you, what if that will lead the world to a greater extinction? You know, distinction and extinction. And you have a role to play, you know. Either you help the world to become to have more distinction or you don't live your greatness you play it small and without knowing it you contribute to the extinction of the world so you know wow think about it thank think you alden it. thank you <laughs> yes you are so inspirational people for me yeah. and i hope for for our audience too so uh do you want to tell something like at the end of our our sharing our talking okay. so yeah so you have a role to play whether it will be for the distinction of the world or for the extinction of the world you choose and for every step that you take for your greatness to follow your dream you are contributing to the distinction of the world and for every step that you are afraid and you stay small you are contributing Thing to the extinction of the world and you know we are at the we are at the very at the fork you know at the, at the turning point in our life you know in terms to climate change when it terms to our life you know things are getting faster and faster and then we need to go faster and faster in the distinction direction not in the extinction direction you know and uh, and thank you for this interview because it allows me to reach more people and i hope at least at least one person will be aha that makes sense what they're talking about i will make that choice in my life to follow my vision and not allow myself to be stopped by this reality that i see because i can change the reality this book does not exist doom this is the one that's real my vision is the one that's real wonderful so this everything is is in uh, this your book the dummy's guide to the love of attraction and thank you very much for your sharing. Bye. Okay. So you, yeah. Thank you so much. And hope to have another chance with you to be able to have this wonderful time with you again, Slavo Mira. And sure. guys, thank you for watching. I love you. Sure. <laughs> thank you for watching. Bye. Hope on the beautiful. Bye now. Okay.